All right, so today we're talking about everyday carry, and you can never be too cautious, and sometimes you'd be a little overprepared and carry a few different items. So today we're gonna go over what I carry. So sometimes you just wanna have an intimidation factor, so that's what we got these guys for. And then if that ain't enough, sometimes you just need something that you can either use both ends, and that's a good one. You need a hunting knife, a good hunting knife, so you might need something like that, but then, you know, you always need a backup, so then you've got this hunting knife. Sometimes you don't want something quite so big, so you've got just like a little smaller, like dagger style. Sometimes you just, you want that sound, the intimidation, so you got the butterfly knife, you gotta have one of those. And then if you got the butterfly, you gotta have the switchblade to go with it. You know, and then sometimes you wanna hear the noise of, a, of an opener, a fast opener. That's always a good one. So sometimes you need to defend yourself from a distance. You might need something you throw, and that's where the Chinese star comes in handy. You know, you need a battery. So you might need that. Sometimes you just need something big, though. Something big and flashy, so you need something like that. Or maybe something a little bigger, maybe something like that. Maybe those just aren't quite enough, so maybe you need something a little bigger, and you can always carry this guy, the toothpick. Sometimes maybe you don't want a knife, so you gotta have a baton always ready. But then, if the situation really calls for it, sometimes you need that everyday carry sword for when things get really out of control. And then that everyday carry item you don't want to leave home without. And that's a good old PB&J. All right, so I've always been into carrying some sort of pocket knife and it all started as a kid when I saved up my money and got my very first Swiss Army knife and thought it was the coolest thing. Since then, I've carried all sorts of knives from just very small little folders uh, to like a larger Gerber style knife um, to like an old timer. Even in my teenage years, I had to get a switchblade uh, just because I thought it was super cool. Uh, but <clears throat> as I've grown older, I've decided that I needed something more than just a pocket knife. Uh, so today we're gonna be looking at the five things that I carry every day with me. So for me, item number one that I carry every day is a flashlight. And my flashlight of choice for the past 15 years has been the Streamlight flashlight. It takes two AAA batteries and it comes with a pocket clip. And you can kind of see by these things, these things are well worn out. I carry them every day for years on end. Um, and generally, I mean, these things are, both of these are several years old. I've been carrying this one for probably about two years. Uh, this is the one that I retired before that, that really is still in great shape, no problems with it. Uh, just decided it was time for a new one. <clears throat> so I recently switched to this flashlight and it is considerably smaller. It is the, the uh, Streamlight Micro Stream USB and it comes with a pocket clip as well. And as far as brightness, um, this one's probably even a little bit brighter it has this slide on it that zooms in and out but that also when you open it doubles as the charging port because this thing is rechargeable which is really cool it has an updated clip on it and that clip can either be used to store it in your pocket uh, but it also has a double feature on it so where you can clip that onto a hat uh, which can come in handy for sure uh, definitely for hunting needs and stuff like that or working on a vehicle or anything like that where you could clip this onto your hat. I think it's a cool little addition. Probably doesn't cost them a whole lot more in making that clip. Uh, the clip is removable, removable if you wanted to. Uh, so that is item number one. Item number one is a flashlight. Item number two for me is a watch. I always wear a watch and I've worn a watch since I was a kid and now I have a, I've upgraded to a smart watch. I've been carrying this watch for probably about three years now and it is the Samsung Galaxy um, Gear Watch, Frontier Gear Watch. And uh, I just love having a watch anyway. It tells me the date, the time, the seconds. It also has a lot of other features that quite honestly I don't use, uh, but it tells me how many steps I've taken, it can check my heart rate, a bunch of other things like that. Uh, but honestly, it just uh, it is something that I carry with me every day. So that is item number two. Item number three that is always in my other pocket is my cell phone. I'm an Android guy, so I've got a Samsung phone. Obviously comes in handy for all sorts of things. But then item number four 
is a wallet. And a lot of guys like to carry like the ridge style wallet in the front pockets and stuff. But for me, that doesn't work because I already have a phone in one pocket and then a flashlight and, and some other things in my other pocket. Uh, so I carry my wallet just standard style in my back pocket. That wallet though, for me is a very slim bifold wallet, very minimalistic in the things that I do carry. So it keep it very thin, it really doesn't uh, bother me. Then item number five, which is kind of a bonus item is this bracelet that I wear occasionally. And this bracelet here is the Leatherman Tread. And it's not just a fashion statement, it is kind of a work piece. And what it has is it has d several little bits on it that are screwdriver bits, hex head bits, hex bits, almost like a wrench style bit uh, included in every single link. Some of them, like this one fits an oxygen tank, uh, but then it also has like a built-in bottle opener, has a box opener on it. And then it has a quarter inch ratchet drive right here. Uh, so you can stick a quarter inch ratchet on there and then use this as a ratchet wrench. Uh, but it's really cool. And quite honestly, it's more of a fashion piece for me than it is a work piece. I have used it multiple times in a work environment, uh, but it isn't really um, practical when you're working on a vehicle or a machine or something like that to have that on. So uh, for me, it's more of a fashion piece and something that I was into since I love Leatherman's. So item number six, our last and final item here is a Leatherman multi-tool. And I would say Leatherman specifically because that is the brand that I love the most. I've tried several other brands and really come back to Leatherman. Uh, my first Leatherman that I had was the Wingman. And I, <clears throat> I love the Wingman. I also tried the Sidekick for a little while, but ended up falling back on the Wingman. And I love this multi-tool. I think it is a great multi-tool to have. The tool that I carry now, and I have three different ones that I have carried, um, is the Leatherman Wave. Specifically, I'm carrying it in black right now, uh, but it has four tools that are accessible while closed. One of them is a serrated blade. One of them is a straight blade. And then across from the straight blade is a awesome saw that cuts through wood with ease. And I've cut some really lar rather large pieces. I've even cut a two by four before with this thing. And then across from the the serrated blade, you have a file, and this file is great. It is It cuts on the edge here, it has no edge cut here, has a nice double cut file here, and then on the back it has a diamond file for it. Even if you want to, I've had people filing their nails, they've asked to borrow this to file their nails, all sorts of other things, to even do sharpening a knife with this thing. And those are the tools that are accessible from the outside. Then of course you have Leatherman's pliers uh, with these replaceable inserts for wire cutters and wire strippers. You can use them for both. It has a little notch here for stripping wires as well as cutting it. And then inside you have several tools. And here we have the small pair of scissors. And just to give you an idea, scissor size. These ones are much larger and I do love these. I wish they had included these in the wave. But nonetheless, these are great scissors. I use them all the time. They're very sharp. So those fold right back up out of the way. Next tool on here is a micro screwdriver. Comes in Phillips and you flip it over and it has a flat tip on it. And this is a great tool. Great for working on eyeglasses and stuff. Use this so many times. And then the last tool on this side is basically a flathead screwdriver bit, or I've used it as a pry bar, a pry tool, all sorts of things, just random uses. Um, but really it's basically a flathead screwdriver bit. And then over on the other side, we have your standard bottle opener, can opener, and your screwdriver bit. Comes in Phillips, and then you can flip it over to the flathead and then you also can get all sorts of attachments that'll fit into here to screw regular screwdriver bits, reg regular quarter inch drive bits, as well as some ratcheting bits, and even a bit that you can use to drill holes. So really cool adaptability features on this thing. And I tell you what, I use this thing probably 15 times a day all over the place. I fixed cars with it, fixed machines, cut open boxes, and everyone's always asking me to borrow it. Hey, have you got your Leatherman on you? And I tell them, do bears poop in the woods? Absolutely, I have it on me all the time. And uh, I'm not really sure how so many people function without one. 
there we go. So there you have it, my five everyday carry items. We're not even gonna get into firearms. We're just gonna look at these um, depending on what day, where I'm going and what I'm doing. That's really depending on what firearm I'm carrying alongside with all of these. Uh, but let me know in the comments down below what kind of things are you carrying in your pockets every day. I'd love to hear what other people are carrying. If you're not carrying a Leatherman, what what are you carrying? Are you carrying a pocket knife? Is there another brand of multi-tool that you like to carry? Do you carry a flashlight or are you just relying on the flashlight on your phone? Um, let me know in the comments down below. As always, thanks for sticking around and we'll see you next time.